But yeah, like you see, you see this homeless thing as well. Yeah, there's a lot of like homeless people like on the side of dual carriageways and that. Yeah, and me, I never give them money or nothing like that. But there was one time I gave a homeless person money. Yeah, so I'm in Tottenham now. At Tottenham Hill, getting ready to come back to Edmonton, isn't it? Yeah. Boom. There's a homeless man on the island. Yeah, and he's just obviously begging for money or whatever in it. So I was just there, yeah, getting ready to just air him in it. Yeah, just blank him in it. Boom. Couple of cars ahead. There's a a work van. Yeah, with workmen in it. Probably like a like a removal van or whatever in it. So he's gone up to the work van. The people in the work vans like wound the window down and they're talking to him or whatever. Yeah? The the um the guy who's begging on the island, he's gone up to the, the window and he's put his hand in the window and he's like, you know, pointing. So his hand's physically inside the van or whatever, isn't it? I'm like, what's he pointing at or whatever? Isn't it? Yeah? Next thing I know. The driver, who I can't see because obviously I'm behind the van, yeah, has passed him a sandwich, yeah, and the man started eating the sandwich, yeah. The sandwich was a half-eaten sandwich because I could see that there was only, you know, half the sandwich still in it, obviously, in it, yeah. So the man's eating the sandwich. I'm like, raw. If a man is willing to eat a sandwich, yeah, from a random ass person that they don't know, they're fucking desperate. I sped up to the man quickly. I had five a five pound note in my in my um uh not glove compartment but the little compartment under the um armrest, right? And I gave the man five pound, yeah, because that guy was desperate. Because there's a lot of these people who stand out on the street begging or whatever, and they ain't desperate. But that guy was fucking desperate, yeah. So I gave him five pound. The man was eating a sandwich that someone else had. Yeah, you're fucking desperate, yeah. Because, you know, a lot of these people, like, right, that guy was, like, foreign, so might maybe, like, Romanian or something like that, right? But there's a lot of, like, you know, like, just normal crackheads, black crackheads and white crackheads, whatever, and, yeah? They ain't desperate for the money for food. They'll ask you, they will lie to you and tell you it's for food. Yeah, we all know what type of food is for, innit? Yeah, and it ain't no consumables, yeah? They go and smoke that shit, innit? So I never give them money, yeah? There's all certain times I say to them, like, do you want some food? Like, certain time I see, like, some... I wouldn't even say they're a cracker. They're probably an alcoholic or whatever, really. Yeah? And they look like they ain't washed for about three weeks or whatever, really. Yeah? They might be sitting outside Tesco's or somewhere, really, yeah? Or I'll ask them, you know, do you, do you want me to buy you some food? And they'll say, yeah, cool, wouldn't it? Yeah? There's all certain times, even in Edmonton, right? I've seen, like, Romanian gypsy lady, like, sitting on the floor or whatever, really. I don't give them money, but I've gone and bought her KFC. Like, one time I was dieting for Taekwondo. So I couldn't eat nothing, literally, like, man was just on water and eating a little bit of salad, no meat, no nothing like that, no carbohydrates, just literally just a little bit of salad, you know, just to have some, some food, tiny bit of food in my stomach, you know? and well, I thought to myself, you know what, I'm dieting, I can't enjoy any luxury foods or nothing like that, so you know what, I'll go and buy someone some food or whatever, and I've done it plenty of times in Edmonton, like on the high street, going to... There's a shop called Percy Ingalls. It's just like Greg's, and it going to Percy Ingalls, buy a man a fucking um, couple sausage rolls and a big bottle of water, and that. Uh, but I never give them money because I don't know where it's going. But if I see someone hungry out on the street, to be fair, I ain't even done it for a while. But to be fair, I'm sure I, since when when the country was on lockdown, I didn't even see no homeless people. Not that I was going out anyway. When I was on lockdown, I was in my house. The only time I would leave is to go running or go to the shops. And when I go to the shops, it's usually the shopping mall. So I never used to go to the town centre. Plus, I went in Edmonton like that. So I don't even know. But yeah, before lockdown and that, yeah, every now and then I would give like homeless people food or buy them food or whatever and that. But I never give them no money. Never give them no money. Because I don't know where it's going. At least then I know, obviously, the food is going in their stomach. And that. So man, I feed a woman, man, feed a man. But I ain't giving no one no money because I don't know where it's going. There's been programs, yeah? Now, you know, like Watchdog and all that. Back in the day, there's programs where they, they, they follow the, the beggars, right? And then they see man, man bag begging on the street from 8 a.m. to fucking, what, 8 p.m. or whatever. And they sit there and they, you know, put surveillance on these people for the whole day. And then they see man pull out key, yeah? When, like, when he's moved off, pull out key and go into a yard. So on a minute, so you're begging that you ain't got nowhere to stay or whatever, whatever, but then you're going 
to put your, your key in a door, aren't you? That's why you don't see most of these beggars and these homeless people or these people who are begging out and shit. You don't see them there all night because they got a home to go to. Yeah? They got a home to go to. 